You ever done that top your golf shot? I know you have. I hear it all the time. And what is the solution? Typically, if somebody yells from afar or whatever, oh, you picked your head up. So, folks, I, I have something to share with you. I've taught 30 years, okay? And this is with video, okay? So I have not once in a lesson showed a person a video when they topped it and told me they picked up. Have I seen evidence of it? Okay, and I'm going to explain to you today why, and we're going to get rid of this myth, and hopefully you can get rid of it once and for all, because this really, this one hurts golfers, is why I talk about it, because if you go, okay, I got to stay down now, that's kind of swings I see, like that, that's what comes out of it, keep your head down, why, we are very active in this golf swing, keeping our head down is not what we want to do, uh, two of the best golfers ever in this world, Alika Sorensen and David Duvall, what did they do, they were like this at impact, their head here which is probably what more people should do so they can get their body through it, okay? But let's just say no and keep their head there. It's just for structure. It was never built, because we can't see this ball, we're hitting it anyways. It was never built for us to be watching the ball. It was for structure, so we get back to here, our head's here and not up here or here. So it was never meant for that. So let me get into why it happens, okay? And this will help alleviate and then help. Once you understand it, it's very fixable and it makes a lot of sense, okay? so. This is for most of them, okay? The club is going like this, and they, it's casted, meaning there's usually some kind of motion like this casting it. So what happens is when this comes in like this, it's a way to close the club face, that the low point is behind the golf ball if I'm going this way, meaning if the golf swings a circle, you know, somewhat of a circle, I have to have a lowest point down here somewhere, right? So for that person, their lowest point would be back here, okay? And the club then, obviously, after the lowest point, has to be coming up. So there's the top golf shot, okay? That's it, folks. That's where most top golf shots happen, right there. It's for people that typically throw this club face, which is most golfers out there. They swing up like this, and they throw the face. They look like they're, when they're at impact, they look like they're sold to dress because they just threw the face like this, but it's behind, and they hit it. So how do we get out of that, and how do we fix it? Now that we understand the fix, okay, or understand why it's happening, which is key with all my teaching, okay? So everything I teach, I want the golfer to understand what happens there. So when you go out and play, that you are empowered, okay? And that's what I've always wanted to do is give students empowerment. So I don't hear them ever saying anymore, oh, I don't know what happened. I had a bad round. I don't know why. No, it's very empowering to know why you hit a golf shot, right? So you top a three in the middle of the fairway, you go up and take a couple practice swings on your next one, and you got it fixed, okay? So let's talk about how to fix it then. So with an iron, okay, or with any ball that's sitting on the ground, we want a negative angle of attack, not a positive one when we top it. That's a positive one coming into the ball, okay? We want negative, and then we also want to have the club's lowest point out in front of the golf ball, which is, you know, somewhere up here, okay? It depends for each person how much up front, okay? But it depends on how hard your swing is or whatever. But nobody should be behind it on these, okay? That's imp very hard to time up, okay? So let's say for me, I want to be a few inches out in front. What am I going to do? So if I go play golf and I had that problem, I would tell the person to go like this. So that's in front, right? So I would set up right here next to the ball and go, that's in front again, okay? Now I just did those swings. Now I'm going to go, boom. And so we have right here, um, let's go right here. We have the low point 4.5A. That means 4.5 inches after was my lowest point of that. So my attack angle was negative 5.7. Now, not everybody has to be that much with a nine iron, okay? But it just shows you that you're always going to hit strike the ball clean And when you learn to do this. The reason most golfers struggle in golf is because their strike is, their point down here is bad. Meaning it's back here one time, it's up here one time. So you got blades, you have fat shots, you have all this stuff. If you can just take that out of your mind and change your routine and approach to say, I have to get up here. I have to start landing up here. Now, let me show you typically how I'll work with it with students. And they can figure this out. Every student I have figures this out. Now, you can take a quarter. I like taking a quarter drill or something. These are little discs I use, or you can use a little T. But I put this little disc in front with the golf ball here. I tell the, golf, the student to, hey, I want you to forget really about this golf ball, and I want you to hit this up here for me. Now, one question I get a lot is, well, why don't I just look up there? And I say, that makes a lot of sense if it's done the correct way. So what I typically see where it goes bad is if I'm aiming up like this, is the person will turn their head this way. 
That is really bad. And the reason is because if you're right-handed, there's 99% chance you're right eye dominant. So if I'm looking up here, if you go like this, their head is pointed this way now, that's going to restrict your backswing huge, okay? So you want to be turned a little bit back this way with our head. So you just have to look out of, at it out of your left eye, okay? Um, but don't get into that habit. That will mess you up, okay? So I'm going to hit this, and what am I going to focus on? I'm going to focus on getting all the way up to that thing, okay? I'm not going to worry about casting this thing. I'm just going to hold on to the angles and get all the way up to that. That's all I'm focused on. Boom. And you can see I did it. So right there we have a 4.6 after on that one with a negative 5.7 degree angle of attack down. Okay. So that's a lot. Some won't be that far, but it doesn't matter. Anything positive after the ball is good. It's what we're going for. So that's another, that's one drill. Okay. Um, if you don't have a setup like that, or you don't have a quarter or whatever, everybody's going to go have a T, grab a T, put it in front of your ball. When you're, if you go to the range and do this, you know, two, three inches in front. Okay. And I just put a real little T in there. And my goal is to what is to get up to that T. That's all I'm worried about in this shot. I'm not worried about the ball. I'm going to the T. And you can see the T went out there and I had 5.0 after attack angle of negative 5.9. Okay. So here's the story. And now, let me show you one more way to do this. For those of you who have alignment sticks in your bag, or you can grab a golf club, this is another great way to just put this put this behind you, behind the ball. And what's that, what is that going to do? That's just going to make your eye think you got to get more forward, okay? Like you're not going to want to land back here and hit this stick. And so you may have to start with this uh, golf club up, which I would, and then we're just going to make sure we get down on it, okay? I didn't hit that one that solid, but that's okay. Because I caught it thin, I was so far forward, but that's fine. Um, that's not the point. So here's the thing with hitting this thing. If you want to start hitting the ball well, this is 100% key. And this is what I tell golfers beginning or whatever, if you're just kind of in a, in, a, in a rut. Everybody can get this down and hit the ball, okay? Like, how good would your golf game change if you knew every time you're just going to at least launch it? And you can start to get the same distances instead of one fat, one thin. And, you know, maybe when you're doing this drill and you start doing it, it goes a little right or maybe a little left, but you're getting good distance out of it and you're hitting it up there, not catching them fat, not topping them. Then you work on that stuff after. But number one is, by far, number one is getting your low point more up front. Now, for a lot of you, there's going to be different reasons of how you do it. You know, you may come off the ball a lot, which causes problems. You know, mostly I see this issue. A person comes off like this or whatever, however they do it, and that's really hard to time up how to get back. So it's probably a lot better for you if you just come back a little bit and turn and you're more over the golf ball. It'll be a lot easier for you, okay? So practice this and learn to become a good ball striker before anything. Um, and everybody can do it. Anybody that comes sees me is able to take, go hit this ball. Now, maybe a little right, maybe a little left, but they are able to – Get a good attack angle down, three after for the knee, and a negative four attack angle. So I'm always going to hit the ball solid. Like I said, I may just have to work on some angles or path or something like that with my face, but it's always going to be up there somewhere near the green, okay? Thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps you with your top golf shot, and you don't have to believe any more of the mess of lies that are out there. Throw that one out of the book that keep your head down. Eric Silver, EJS Golf Academy.